The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Angel awaits you in booth six. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous Only items. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Thank Go eat you. a dick, Johnny. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Vincent, right? I'm Angel. You're Angel. It's V. Just V. Only people I know real well get to use my real name. But we'll get to know each other well in no time, honey. Sure. Why not? Do what you do best. I know that you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. That's why you're here. Look around. Tell me what you see. There's something in the mirrors. Way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not going to analyze you. I won't play any tricks. My sole aim is to fulfill your greatest need. Listen, I'm looking for someone who worked here. Evelyn Parker. Know her? Know where she is? You must see the big picture. You focus too much on details, minor ones, like Evelyn. Please don't act like you know me. I just want some answers. But are you asking the right questions? How can you change what has already happened? Stole this place to fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting. This. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. So what's it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died once already, only to face another kind of death. Come to terms? Sure. Let me just curl up here on the floor and wait for... whatever. Give up. That's what you're saying. Actually, I'm saying the opposite. You wish to leave something behind. A piece of yourself. That's why this all began. You wish to be remembered. It wasn't even that long ago. I was out to grab everything. And then, well, it all happened. Feels like that person wasn't even me. Still, if I gotta die, I wanna go down in history. Fuck it, even a footnote would do. And after that? Do you think death is a disappearing act followed by exactly nothing? I'll be shredded. I'll disappear. There'll be... nothing. You can't know that. No. But I got a pretty good idea. The thought of it doesn't sadden you? Of course I'm sad. And... surprised. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell, that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. It's gonna go out in a memorable way. And <laughs> later. Lots later. Turns out death don't give a shit what you want. You wished to do so much. Thought you had time. So. 
Where do we go from here? This is the part where I tell you what you must do. Oh, uh, okay. Be my guest. You've never backed down from anything, so don't stop now. Not one step backwards. In this city, people die on their way to the corner store for a scop pop. But that threat's never stopped you. You dive into the middle of it all. Always have. Things are moving way too fast. Around me, without me. I... I can't keep up. A minor delusion. The truth is, we and our paths are braided. Never ending. Ever transforming. Not being, but becoming. And what's happening inside you, it could change the world. Listen, V. Never look back. If you must kill, kill. If you must burn all the world to the ground, then let it burn. Okay? Thanks. For this. I... I don't want to go out there. No one ever does. But eventually, we all must. Afterlife. What? What happened? You interrupted the session? Did I do something wrong? W were you not satisfied? Had all kinds of things going on in my head lately. This was... different. Refreshing. Yes, that is what we do at Clouds. Think I get why people come here. Come back. But I came for something else. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Wait just a sec. That's not how this works. You can't ask me about the dollhouse or anything like that. I could get in serious trouble. Go. Please, just go. God help me, please. I'm no threat, and she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. Look, I barely knew her, and I have no clue where she is. Nobody came looking for her. Nothing out of the ordinary happened. There was an incident with a client. I don't know the specifics. One doesn't ask about these things around here. Tom might know. He and Evelyn were close. Go ask him. And please leave me alone. Tom, who's he? Friend of Evelyn's. Wasn't a free moment they weren't together. Where'll I find him? He's a doll here. Works the VIP area, booth two. Thanks. Shh. Don't ask for me again. Ever. <laughs> 